In the modern era, it's virtually impossible for stewards to pin someone with pulling a horse up. Unless they've got documented evidence of intent and evidence of agreements being entered into to carry out the deed. The days of stewards being able to suspend a licensee on a whim or suspicion are long gone, so the failing to take all reasonable measures rule is now the new black in racing. It takes the place of the failing to perform on its merits rule and also carries a lot less time on the sidelines for the people found guilty of the offence. In recent times, the stewards in Hong Kong have been wielding the rule with gay abandon and currently Jeff Lloyd, who's well known to Australian punters, apprentice Terry Wong, who served some of his apprenticeship in Tasmania, and Gold Coast and North, North Coast of New South Wales Aussie educated superstar Matthew Chadwick are all serving time for failing to take every reasonable measure on certain mounts. But obviously in Hong Kong they do not have the same regulation as we do in Australia, which gags licensees when they do not like the actions of the stewards or if they do, they're very selective about how they use that regulation. As Chadwick celebrated his maiden Group 1 win on California memory at Sha Tin in the Hong Kong Cup last Sunday week, his main retainer, former master, former world-class jockey turned champion trainer, Tony Cruz, let fly, and big time. The winner California memory was the third for Chadwick and Cruz on the program, and it was the sixth time that Cruz had won the Hong Kong Cup, twice as a jockey and four times as a trainer. But the excitement of adding another Hong Kong Cup to the mantelpiece did not stop Cruz from letting fly. He let all and sundry, left all and sundry in no doubts as to what he thought of the stewards' decision to suspend Chadwick for four weeks for failing to take every reasonable measure on Villasol in a recent race at Happy Valley. Matthew's my main rider, and I am very angry that I am going to be without him for four weeks, Cruz told the South China Morning Post. He got this for nothing. This is what happens when a trainer does not back up his jockey. Cruz's outburst also let it be known that he was totally unimpressed with fellow trainer Peter Ng, who trains Villa Sol, and who basically was very unsupportive of Chadwick's effort on the horse in the inquiry. I recall when I was a kid in the stables, my boss Phil Biggs told me that people never got time over good horses. Slugs will always cause you the most trouble, son, the boss said. That could never have rung more true than in the case of Villasol. He is a very ordinary conveyance. He's got home once out of a bucket load of starts, and only last Wednesday, at his following start since Chadwick's suspension, he finished just in front of the ambulance at Happy Valley with Howard Chenger. It was great to see Cruz defend Chadwick. Sure, they've had a phenomenal run of success together, but Chadwick's a class act and a super talented young rider, and copping time over a cockroach like Villasol is beyond the pale. Tony Cruz was right to defend his stable jockey. And loyalty in racing is something that is a rare commodity these days. A mixture of Steve, Cor Steve Cawthon, Lester Piggott, George Moore and Michael Canaan would not get Villasol home in a three-legged race at a school fate. But obviously the stewards in Hong Kong don't have access to a form guide. Have a look at the horse's record. It is absolutely abysmal. He's a first-class walker. I think the Grey's a good sort. I've watched him in the birdcage a few times at Happy Valley and he's got me in. Perhaps they should change the rules and stewards should be able to have a bet because I've done my money a couple of times on Villa Sol and I'm sure if the stewards had done theirs, they would have a far different view of the horse than they had going into the inquiry. The real winners out of this debacle were Tony Cruz for having the balls to call it as he sees it and Matthew Chadwick for getting on with the job of doing what he does best riding winners. The losers are the stewards in Hong Kong, who Villasol will continue to make a nong out of, week in and week out as he continually gets his butt kicked, and Peter Rung, who one day may need some people in the trenches to give him a hand, and he may get a very rude shock.